So hello my friend, I was talking to you about learning to speak to yourself, which is really about starting to pay attention to yourself and how you relate to yourself. I didn't mean to make you go through your paces or do some kind of positive thinking. It's not about creating a particular way of being. It is about opening yourself to the preciousness of your awareness, of your aliveness, of your being in the world, of what is being given to you. And so don't feel you need to start affirming things for yourself and say things like you're a good person or um, you are better than other people or you're so great at this or so great at that. That is a bit of wishful thinking and it is a bit of a forced kind of situation. That may work too. You may know that the method Quay was about repeating to yourself this mantra saying every day in every way I am getting a little bit better and things are improving. And that does work for people. But I think that works because when you start that process of reinforcing that you are trying really hard to improve and to make things work out for yourself, when you do that, that becomes reality because you're practicing it. It becomes a daily practice. So that does work. A daily practice works. But to impose on yourself a particular moral stance or to introduce into your own thinking that you ought to be good or happy or beautiful or anything of that kind, I think can be easily counterproductive because that is setting new barriers for yourself, new expectations for yourself, and you will inevitably feel dissatisfied with yourself for not really making that grade if you do that. So avoid imposing or prescribing a certain way of being. Just learn to pay attention to yourself, to be with yourself, to face yourself and to, as I said, allow yourself to be just as you are and what you are and to be friendly about that so that is important that you are welcoming towards yourself and that you invite yourself to be at peace with whatever comes to mind and whatever is important to you right now so learn to be with yourself and to stay with yourself as you are, just as you are, not setting goals or have expectations or make it harder for yourself, but on the contrary, say, yes, here we are again. Hello, Emmy. Here we are again, together, as we always are and we always will be. And then you get a feeling of actually knowing that it's you, always has been you from the start, that has been with you. From the first moment you can remember, till the last moment you'll be alive. You will be in your own company. And this is why it's important to open up your awareness of yourself and of the presence of that person.
person, that person that you are, that person with your ability to feel, to think, to be and to do so many different things and to learn so many new and different things. So that's what it's about, my friend. It's about inviting yourself into this friendly being, you, and this friendly and kind being together with you. Try again. See how it goes. Be good to yourself. That is something you can do. But don't expect to have to become this moral paragon of goodness or achievement or anything at all. You have all you need. You. You have all you need. But you're not aware of it. And you're not in sync with yourself. So take time every day to get back in sync with yourself and to be on your side and to be with yourself in this friendly, kind manner. Take care of yourself.